Hello, Sudoku friends. Welcome to April 10th, Hard Sudoku by the New York Times. I'm uploading it tomorrow, though, so it will be available on YouTube from 6 a.m. Central European time. Let's see how this one goes. I can see the two five and the nine here blocking up here. So these squares must be a two five and a nine, making these therefore an eight four and a six. So in effect, we have six givens for column four. We have a four, six and an eight here. Uh, we now need a one, a one must go here or here. And we also need a three and a seven. The seven can't go here or here because of this seven, so it must go here. Therefore, these two squares here must be a one and a three. So far, so good. But it means that this four blocks over and this four blocks over. So this is in fact a four and therefore Yes, so one of these must be a two, and they block these squares. This two blocks this square, so this is a two. Let's see, we got a one and a, a one down here. One of these is a one. And I see a, an eight blocks down here, an eight blocks over there. One of these is an eight. So we need an eight for one of these two squares. A nine here, here. Oh, a four blocks down and another four blocks down. So this must be a four. And this four blocks down, this four blocks over. So here's another four. And then a four must go in one of these two squares here. Can we do something with these sixes? Six blocks down here. Six, no, not really. I thought I could, yes, hang on, hang on, hang on. A six blocks over here. So one of these is a six and we got another six blocking over. So yes, of course we can do something with the six. And we know that a six blocks down here, this six blocks up here. So one of these must be a six. But that's as far as I can take it, I think now. Three squares missing here, a three, eight, and a five. One of these must be a three, so this is an eight or a five. I can see a two going in one of these squares, and I will tell you why, because this square is blocked by this two. And over here in box one, this two blocks down here. Oh, by the way, here's a two because we got a couple of twos blocking over. So the two goes here and therefore a two must go here or here. And as I said, this square is blocked by this two. So a two for the second row has to go in one of these two squares, making this square a five or a nine. And I think we are getting a little bit closer to completing the bottom row because we have a one and a seven here now. And we have a one under seven here. So these two squares must be a one under seven. And therefore we need a five, eight, and a three for these squares here. And I don't see how I can place them yet. But one of these now must be a seven. Can we do more with that? One of these must be a nine. And uh, uh, how did I figure out that? Well, we know that these two must be a one and a three. So there is no other place for a nine in row four than these two squares. So let me look at this box nine. We only have two givens, but we know that these must be a one and a seven. So in effect, we have four givens for this box here. So I'm wondering about this square here. It cannot be a one, two. It could be not a three, by the way. It could be a four, but not a five, not a six, not a seven, eight, or a nine. So yes, it's a four. And therefore, a four must go up here. 
we do remember that these must be a four, six, and an eight, don't we? And now we have a four blocking over, another four blocking over, so the four goes here, and these are now eight and six. So one and seven here, can we do more with this box here? A three, for example. I don't think so. But three and eight, five, three and eight. We still need five, three and eight, and these are one seven. So a five, three and eight here, 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 here. That's one square too many. So let's look across and down. Uh, one of these is a six, by the way. I'm just realizing because we have a six blocking up here and here. And we know that one of these is a six, don't we? Yes, we do. And that means that we need a six for the second row. And there's a six blocking this square, so a six must go here. And two, five, seven, nine now for these squares here. We have a seven here, so a seven must go here or here. And we know that one of these is a two. So five and nine. No, I'm not seeing that yet. What I am seeing though is a two blocking up and another two blocking up. So this is a two and we know that one of these must be a two. So we need to find a two for one of these three squares in row one. We got two twos blocking up. So it's clear that the two must go here. Three, five, six, and a seven for these squares here. Let's see, there's a six and a seven. So this is a three or a five. So, se oh, hang on, a seven is blocked by this seven and these two squares are blocked by these two sevens. So a seven must go here. So we now we are just looking for a three, six and a five for these squares. So a three must go here or here. So, yes. Let me recap. We need a three for the first column. There's a three blocking here. So one of these is a three. We also know that one of these must be a three. So where now can we place a three in row six? This three blocks this square. So the three must go here. These two now must be a one and a nine. And since these are one and sevens and we have two threes blocking down, a three must go here and therefore in one of these two squares here. So a one seven here gives me a five, eight and a nine for these squares. Five, eight and a nine. Well, all I can say is that a nine must go here or here because of the nine blocking. But now we have a one and a nine can't go here. One and a nine must go here, or one or a nine must go here. And we an eight. Something is going on with the center row, I think. We need to find a one, three, six, eight, nine. One, nine, eight. This is a three, six. This is a one, nine. This is a one, three. We, I thought I saw something, but I didn't. But I do see the eight blocking over here and the eight blocking down. So one of these is an eight. And therefore we need an eight here or here. It's an awful lot of five and eight going on. We got five and eight over here somewhere and five and eight here, five and eight here somewhere. That's a little weird. So, Let's instead just plug in a one here because the one blocks over here and this one blocks over here, this one blocks up. So a one must go here. Five, six, eight and a nine for these squares here. Five, eight, this is a six, nine. Eight, nine this, and six, so this is a five, yes. 
And these now must be a three and a six. We got a six in the row. So the three goes here and the six here. That should help because now this, these being one threes and we got a six blocking over and one six blocking up makes this square six. And now we know that the one three here can be distributed like so. This is a one and this is a three because of the three blocking over. So in addition to the eight here, the other digit must be a one because this one blocks over. So if there's a one here, then this cannot be a one. It must be a nine and this must be a one. Can we do more? Yes, we know these are ones and eights and therefore this must be a two. And we know that one of these had to be a two and now we got this a two blocking up, making this a two. These have to be a, an eight and a nine. Eight and a nine. Hmm. Five, three, eight and a nine. So one of these is a three, yes, but I think we knew that, didn't we? There must be something very clever that we can do here. Well, six, eight, and a nine looks very clever because we have a nine and an eight in this column. So this must be a six. And this six blocks over, and we know that these had to be an eight and a six. So this is clearly going to be an eight and this is six. And these now must be a five and a nine. And here down, we got a five, eight, and a nine still. There's a nine blocking here, five blocking here, I'm not seeing that, but I'm seeing two missing digits here and they have to be a one and a seven. Uh, we have a one blocking here. So the seven goes to this square, the one here, and this therefore is a seven. And this is seven blocks over now. So the square here must be a seven, making this a seven here because we got this seven covering these two squares. So we are back to fives and eight. <laughs> and what else? A three. So this is a three because of the three blocking over, right? So a three goes here and these are now fives and eight and therefore this cannot be a five or an eight. The only other digit missing in the row is a nine. And these now have to be fives and eight. That's amazing. And what's going on up here? Uh, not a five and an eight because we have those, but a three and a nine. A three is blocking up, so the nine goes here and the three here. And that nine blocks down, this nine blocks over, so a nine goes here. The last digit in this row has got to be a five, finally a five. So therefore this is a five and this is an eight making this an eight and this a one. And now we got this nine up here. So that makes this a five and this a nine. And therefore this must be a five and this must be a nine. And this last square up here must be an eight. This nine blocks here, making this an eight and this a nine. And now I think we can resolve most here because now the eight blocks down. So this is an eight. I'm making this an eight and this a five and this a five and this must be a three. That was a very fun puzzle today and I hope that you also enjoyed it. Bye for now.